welcome back with a new video in this video let us learn about css transitions so head over to folder number 10 and create a new file and name it as transitions.html and let us also create a css file for it transitions.css so let us head over to transitions.html file so let us quickly scaffold our basic html boilerplate so type exclamation and press tab css transitions next let us link our transitions.css file with our html file so transitions.css now right here let us define a div with the class of element and now head over to our css file and define a rule targeting this div so right here let us target the div with the class of element and give this a width of 300 pixels a height of 300 pixels a background color of aqua so let us give this a preview in the browser so this is what we get now let us say we want to rotate the div with the class of element about the top left corner of this div so we want the original rotation to be the top left corner of this div so let us see the hover pseudo class selector and define a transform property and set this to rotate 45 degrees so dot element colon hover and here we need to set the transform property to an invocation of the rotate function and let us rotate it by 45 degrees so i want to rotate this div relative to the top left corner of this div so for this let us make use of the transform origin property and set this to 0 0 transform origin 0 0 so let us give this a preview in the browser to see what we get so here you can see this transition happens so quickly and abruptly we need to slow this down a bit to observe the animation that it gives so we can use the transition property to animate one or more properties so let us go right above to a css rule targeting the element and add the transition property to it so right here let us apply the transition property and now we want to animate this transform property because it is this property that gets changed when we hover over our div so we type transform right here next we specify the duration for this animation so let us say 0.7 seconds so let us give this a preview now if we hover over this we get the smooth animation next we can also supply a timing function now the default timing function is linear which means that the animation will progress in a linear fashion so let us try this out next we also have ease in with this the animation starts slowly and then progresses quickly so let us try this as well ease in so this is how it works next we also have ease out which starts abruptly and then progresses slowly so let us try this and give it a preview ease out and this is how it progresses now we can also specify a custom animation function cubic bezier function so let us navigate to cubicbezier.com and create a custom cubic bezier curve over here we have this curve we can move these points around and change the flow of our animation and we can also compare it with one of the built-in timing functions so let us copy this curve and paste it over here and let us give this a preview so this is how it looks next we can also specify a delay after which our animation should start so let us say i want to start the animation two seconds after we hover over the div so let us try this out so right next to our timing function we can specify the delay to so two seconds and give this a preview so if we hover over the div you can see after a delay of two seconds the rotation happens right next we can also animate multiple properties so let us say on hover i want a border to appear around this div so let us go down below and add a border so right here let us set the border of 5 pixels solid maroon and let us animate this border property and specify an animation duration of 0.8 seconds for it so right here we can add a comma and add the border property and add the duration of animation as 0.8 seconds so let us give this a whirl 
and this is what we get so this was all i wanted to cover about transitions in this video if you like the video do give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you have any query don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the very next one